Welcome again to another episode from Elite Legions. Losing in the new defense mode? No problemo, we are here to help you today. So, as you can see, I started my deployment with three Namhans. You can also switch them with Red and Marksman. And why did I start with those three? Believe me, you don't want to waste your deployments on early week units. Okay, so try to play and pass the first two waves with only three archers unit. So why exactly did I pick Nemchen or Rat and Marksman? Because both deal poison damage, which will really help you later on. I mean, you can go for the incendiary archers, but the incendiary archers after wave 4 or 5, they become utterly useless. That's why I try to avoid them. On this side of the map, like the left side, always try to put Imperial Archers and Longbows, because they will really help you. I mean, they can shoot starting from the gate till the other gate above the cliff. And that's a lot. This is a quick advice, never haste position your troops. Especially like in front of the enemy or just right behind them because the enemy will just immediately rotate and kill your unit even before they take position or formation. The third most important tip is always try to pick four Turbasios and Stalwarts. They are the best holders in this mode. So as you can see here, I always try to position my Fortrabrasio and Stalwarts in choke points, totally covered with ranged units. So what are the best classes as weapons? Well, since you don't deal damage by any mean in this mode, so I would suggest Glaive for the damage buff, I would suggest Longbow for the heal, and of course Musket for the CC. So, what are the best tier list of units that you should pick in this mode? So, as a frontline, as I said, Stalwarts and Fortabrasio. As a ranged unit, you will try to go for the Zagalian Militia or the Siphonary. They are the best to cover your Stalwarts or Fortabrasio. When it comes to the archers, all of them are fine, but I personally prefer the longbows for the range and the namchans for the bleed. If you can't get those, you can always switch the longbows for the uh, imperial archers and you can switch the namchans for the retin marksmen. Now when it comes to the other units, like for example javelins, they suck because they take a lot of time to just like throw one throw and it's absolutely weak. Um, same goes with the muskets, so try to avoid the muskets. My tercios are not that good. But the Chinji grenadiers, their grenadiers can... Well, sometimes it will save your life. I mean, don't pick them unless you're forced to. You will probably get one siphonary unit, so place them carefully because they can literally make you win the game. I mean just a set of Fortabrasio covered by Siphonary or Zekalian Militia is enough to actually make you win the game. Your other job here is simply to watch and keep rolling when you don't have the good unit and of course focus the heroes. And that's it. Hope this was a useful one for you. See you soon in the battlefield, warlords.